This will be a review of the devout pessimist in, in optometry about prevention. Is this valid, correct? Is it accurate as science? But let's look at it. Personally, I support Antonio Medina, who started his kids in a plus when they were at perhaps minus a half doctor. The kids got out of nearsightedness, but that meant long-term dedicated plus wear. The plus has an effect of living outdoors. But let's look at this calculator and better understand the real implications of putting that first minus lens on a kid at minus half diopter or 2040. Here you get a choice of ethnicity, Asian or Caucasian. You get the child's starting day age, which you can change from six to perhaps 18 years. And you get the kid's refractive state. I prefer state versus error because I don't consider a positive state to be a defect or error in the same way minus a half is not yet an error. But I'll use their terminology. Now, you get a choice of several things. Atropine, which is a poison. You get various forms of bifocals, which is a minus with a plus attached. Uh, and you get a choice of fourth OK. I'd suggest looking at this and trying the various suggestions. Remember, this is a very expensive process, whatever selection you choose. If you use a plus lens when you're a half doctor, you can slowly get back to 2020 or positive refractive state. Here they're only talking about office management where they prescribe ortho-K, atropine, some form of bifocal. So they talk about results you'll get without management and with their management. Here's what the results are. Starting at age six with perhaps 2040 and a minus a half for full-time wear, if not stronger than minus a half. In 10 years, you'll go down to about minus five doctors, guaranteed. This only happens if you start wearing a strong minus when you're at minus a half or don't wear a plus to get out of it. Here they talk about, describe executive dive bifocals, the various ideas they have. Notice, there's not one iota of help to get back to 2020. Nothing, even with management, you don't get out of it. You go, rather than going to minus six doctors, you go down to minus four doctors. That is the thinking in optometry today. Personally, I will agree with most of this, but I really look at that minus, half, minus one half doctor or 2040 and what you decide to do about it. Now, I realize that most people do not understand the plus at minus a half or the need to wear it with dedicated efforts. If you have other methods, by all means, try them. But by all means, get your own Snellen, look at it, measure your own refractive state. And if you do what I do, I use my own test lenses since I know this type of curve and this type of thinking will never help me prevent that void it. But I do agree, it's extremely difficult to get out of it if you even start wearing a minus lens. I will post this to you. Look at it, play with it, try numbers. But if you ever remember Frank Young's plus study at minus a half, there were indications that wise use of a plus lens can result in a slow change from minus a half to plus a half, but it takes a really dedicated, intelligent person to actually do this effectively. And that is where Dr. Medina's efforts with his own child paid off. They still have 2020. And when he graduated from college, they'll still have 2020 and a positive refractive state. Thank you for your interest. But with this type of thinking in optometry, 
I don't think there's any future or help for anybody who wants to avoid, prevent, or stay out of it. And this is why I don't advocate prevention much beyond minus one doctor or 2040. Thanks for your interest.